Pearl Tutorial Part 92 Setting Scope with My and Local The My keyword will localize a variable to just the local block of code and My can work with scalars, arrays and hashes so let's create a little subroutine called print it and let's say name equals Fred print name and then we can call our subroutine let's run this and we get Fred well that's not a surprise really now let's print our name again here and we'll get two Freds okay so we can use the my keyword now this will limit the variable name which is equal to Fred to just this block of code so if we try to print the name from outside the block of code it will not work so let's run this and here we just get Fred the first time from inside the subroutine but because the variable name equal to Fred is local to just the subroutine it is not accessible from outside the subroutines block of code okay so let's copy this block of code down now let's take the name out of here let's change the name of the subroutine to print it to and let's put the name in here now let's also change this to name to like so and let's change the name to Barney again let's run this okay and we get Barney twice but if the variable name 2 equal to Barney is local to just outside the subroutine it will be able to print it here but when we call the subroutine it will not be able to access the variable so we just get Barney once okay so that's my where we create a variable that is local to a particular block of code so now let's move on to local now local makes a copy of an already existing variable create a subroutine print it 3 okay now let's create a number equal to a hundred let's call our subroutine say inside the subroutine local let's create a variable called local value equals our number and let's print the local value 
and now let's try also to print the local value from outside the subroutine. Let's run this. So we get the number 100. The number is 100. Run the subroutine. So local value makes a copy of the number 100 and we print out the number 100. If we try to print the local value from outside the block of code, it can't be done. Okay, so my and local essentially do the same thing, but there is a difference. So let's create an example number equals one. Create a subroutine called num that will print out the number. Let's create another subroutine called loc2 local now let's create a local change to our number. Let's call the other subroutine from inside the subroutine. Now let's call our subroutine lock2 and call our subroutine num. Okay, so number equals 1. So first of all, lock2 gets called. So that's saying that locally the number equals 2 run the num subroutine which prints out the number so that's going to print out the number 2 and then the subroutine called num is called and the number is 1 to the sub num and will therefore print the number 1 so we should get the numbers 2 and then 1. OK. So now, let's copy the subroutine lock2 and the two calls down. Now let's rename this to lock 3. Okay, so now this time let's change this word local to my. The call to lock 3 will be made. It says my number equals 2. But this variable number is only local to the subroutine. And then it calls for the subroutine called num. So the subroutine num knows that the number is actually 1. So that will print out 1. And then we call the num subroutine, which again only knows the number to be 1. So this will print out 1 and 1. So let's run this. We get 1 and 1. So that's the main difference between my and local, and that is because local is runtime, not compile time. So any changes you make with local to a global variable will still remain when you leave the local scope by using a subroutine call.